what's up what's up what's up what's up welcome back to my channel today i am bringing you another video of my army wife life video series well today i'm bringing you the raw me i don't have on no makeup i'm i just coming to y'all honest you know being the real Shanice. This is who I am every day. I don't always have on makeup. Today, I'm just gonna talk to y'all about being a stay-at-home mom. This isn't my first time being a stay-at-home mom. I was a stay-at-home mom when we did our year orders. Before I share my experience, just remember that this is my thoughts, my feelings, and um, the first time I was a stay-at-home mom, um, I hated it. I hated it so much, y'all. I'm not even going to lie. I hated it so much. I was depressed. I was angry most of the time because I had the wrong mindset. And by saying I had the wrong mindset means that I went into it all wrong. Like I went into it like, oh, this is going to be great. I don't have to work no more. I just was excited about not working. But as time went on, I was mad that I won't work in and I got real depressed. I would beat myself up about it every day because I always felt like, well, I don't have no money and my husband, that's his money. Like, I just felt useless. And it may sound dumb to say because you're probably thinking, oh girl, well your husband is working. But that was my first year of marriage. So I was always used to having my own. Like before I met my husband, I always had my own place. I had my own car. I had my own everything. And I always had a job, sometimes two. And at one point when I was really struggling, I had three. But um, it, it was always me and my oldest daughter. And I did everything to take care of us. So, going from having it all to not having anything and just having to solely depend on a man, that was a shock for me. I didn't think it was going to have that big of an effect on me, but it really did. And I was so depressed because I felt like I didn't have anything of my own. And even though me and my husband, we would talk about it, like he'll be like, this is our money, this is our house, I'm doing all of this for us. The stubborn Shanice, the strong-willed, independent Shanice wasn't trying to hear that. So I went through a real bad depression phase and I gained a lot of weight. I also lost it, but I didn't gain it back now, but don't tell nobody that. <laughs> but um, I really had to do some soul searching because I felt really empty inside and even though I had a good man and I had I had beautiful children and I had someone taking care of me and paying my bills I still felt empty I still didn't feel whole because I felt like I wasn't myself you know so anyone that has been a stay-at-home mom like did you ever feel like that did you ever feel useless was you depressed was you empty um so it took me a while to understand that that moment was my period of rest. And I had to sit back and I had to relax and I had to let God work. So God had put us in a position where we were able to get more income. My husband was able to provide and I was able to stay at home with my newborn, um, my newborn baby. I was able to sit at home with her and I have to pay childcare. I was able to be very involved in my daughter's schooling. So I had to understand that that was my time of rest and my moment for growth. And what I mean by growth, because now we're going to fast forward to 2017 from 2013. Now, being a stay-at-home mom, I don't feel depressed. I don't feel angry. Now, granted, every day isn't perfect. Some days, being a stay-at-home mom, I just want to scream to the top of my lungs, and I want to pull all my weave out. And that's just being real. But I don't, I don't have the same mindset that I had all those years ago i've grown as a woman so i understand now what it is for a man to provide and everything that he has is mine and vice versa so it's um it is definitely a it's definitely a learning process being a stay-at-home mom because people just think oh you don't get to work you don't do anything oh yes i do i do something every day either i'm cleaning or i'm cooking or i I'm taking care of my kids. It's always something for me to do being a stay-at-home mom. So 
now that I'm more productive and I don't feel so useless anymore, now I know what it means to be a stay-at-home mom. You have to get a schedule for yourself or you're just going to be all over the place and you're going to lose your mind. So being a stay-at-home mom, it, it, it has its good days and it has its bad days. So I definitely enjoy it now because back then I hated it. So being a stay-at-home mom is definitely a job. And um, over the years, you know, my husband has grown as far as being a man and helping around the house. Because at first, when I was a stay-at-home mom, my husband had the mindset of, I'm working, you just clean up. And I had to, I had to let him know, like, uh-uh, that's not what we're doing today. So now, my husband, even though he works and I don't work, he still cleans. Sometimes he cleans better than I do. So our cleaning day is mainly Sundays. Most of the time I'm too busy performing and singing. And he like, Shanice, says, you going to clean up? And I'm too busy dancing and moving. But now we have grown individually and as a couple because now we clean together. And he cooks and cleans just like I cook and clean. Like I'm not his maid. I'm not my kid's maid. We all help out around the house together. So it definitely takes teamwork when being a stay-at-home mom. It definitely takes communication. Because back then, when I would be upset about something, like if I felt like my husband would just throw his stuff everywhere and I felt like I just had to clean it up, I felt like... I felt so many emotions. I felt anger, angry. I never would voice it. I would just keep it all bottled up on the inside. And then weeks or months later something minor can happen and I just blow up and that is not a good way of communication so now I make it known if if something is bothering me I say it so that's just in in a marriage in general communication is key but being a stay-at-home mom it definitely you definitely need to communicate with your spouse and your children and you know lay it out like you need to do this you need to do this we all need to do our part okay so, my day is just like a regular nine to five i'm always booming and moving and you know all over the place so this year going into 2018 i want to be more organized as a stay-at-home mom that is my goal so if you are a stay-at-home mom what is your goal like what goals do you have for yourself do you want to go back to school do you want to pick up a hobby like i've decided to do youtube because i like to do hair and i like to do makeup and i like to motivate people encourage people and inspire people so why not Put all of that into a nutshell and transform it into something positive instead of thinking negative but it's all about your mindset and how you look at it being a stay-at-home mom it definitely has its pros and cons just like working definitely has its pros and cons um do i miss working sometimes i miss working because i got a swiping problem you know so being a stay-at-home mom in one person makes the majority of the money you have to be more mindful of your finances so and people have the impression just because we military we rich i don't know what tv shows y'all watching y'all need to stop watching an army white tv show because it ain't it ain't like that you do definitely get good benefits with the military but like anything else in life it's all about what you make it okay so I just wanted to come in and give my thoughts and my views on being a stay-at-home mom. Overall, I enjoy it. Do I plan on going back to work anytime soon? Probably when my my youngest is time it's time for her to go to kindergarten. It's definitely good for you, especially if you're trying to work towards something as far as like a degree or if you want to start your own business. It's re It really gives you the opportunity to make time for yourself and, you know, line your goals up. But overall, I enjoy it. So um, if you are a stay-at-home mom, 
go ahead and comment down in the comment section. Talk to me. Let me know how long you've been a stay-at-home mom. Let me know if you ever felt depressed or useless being a stay-at-home mom. And like, share your thoughts because it is, it is definitely a hard job. You're with your kids constantly, especially if they're a young age, 24-7. And being around your kids 24-7 it, it can take a toll on you no matter how much you enjoy being a mother no matter how much you love being a mother it can take a toll on you because we still have to we still have to take time to ourselves and recharge our battery so that's why sometimes my husband come in the house I'm like okay I'm out you know I gotta recharge my battery I have to I have to get myself back on track because I truly would lose it <laughs> but um, I hope that this video can help someone else so that you know you aren't being, don't be too hard on yourself. Even though you're a stay at home mom or you just a woman in general, um, don't be so hard on yourself. You are the rock of your family. Whether you're a single mom, whether you're a married woman, whether you're working or staying at home, you are the rock of your family. You keep the family going. So you got to just keep pushing through those bad days because we all have bad days. Every day ain't good. So I just want to take a mom moment to encourage all my mothers out there. Like, remember to have self-care and self-love. You have to take care of thyself. And I definitely want to add this. It's okay to have a bad day. As a mom, as a woman, it's okay to have those off days. It's okay not to want to be bothered. It's okay to scream. It's okay to shout. It's okay to cry. Because even though you are wives and mothers, you're still a woman first. And I think sometimes as mothers, we forget to take care of ourselves. So it's okay to take some time to yourself. It's okay to be down for a little bit but always remember to pick yourself back up okay so we don't um get into depression so we don't feel unworthy or useless okay so and surround yourself with some positive people positive thinking people people that will um motivate you people that will encourage you so even though there are bad days it's always going to be um it'll get better it'll get better okay so I just wanted to add that motivation tip in there so um, just remember to always pick yourself back up no matter how many times you get knocked down whether you're trying to do something and it's not taking off or you're trying to finish school and it seems a bit tough just always take your time always remember to love yourself and always remember that it's okay and it's going to be okay because troubles don't last always I am a firm believer in that and like um, my pastor said back in Virginia um, our current situation does not determine our future so just because you feel like you're just being a stay-at-home mom or you're constantly a busy working mother and you're not making it nowhere it's not always gonna be like this okay trust me I always want to help others especially when I've been so low myself before but it's not always gonna be like this okay so y'all keep pushing y'all keep thriving for greatness and just remember that it's gonna be a great year you got to claim it and receive it okay um, but if you have any questions or comments for me um, go ahead and leave them down in the comment box and I thank you guys for tuning in and watching my video. Hopefully I ain't scare you. <laughs> um, I thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you in the next video soon.